My name is uh, Mike Super. Mike Super. Yeah, that's my real name, believe it or not. So, Mike Super, tell us what you do and, and a little bit about yourself. I'm a mystifier. A mystifier. Yeah, a little different than a magician. Trying to use people's minds and their energy. And uh, tonight, I'm going to introduce you to something uh, pretty unique. I could uh, borrow one of the judges. Heidi. Yeah. Go ahead. Would you help me on stage? Go ahead, Heidi. Big round of applause. How are you doing? No, don't worry. Now, it's important, Heidi, you and I did not prearrange anything. No. Okay, this is where it gets serious. Uh, Heidi, I, uh, I have here an item. We're going to use this glass pitcher, but before we even begin, I don't want people to think this is sugar glass, okay? Okay? Okay. Uh, are you right or left-handed? Right. Okay, that's your dominant hand. Hold that with your right hand. I also have here a clear plexiglass chamber for any skeptics in the audience. I don't want anybody to think there's any external influences on what we're about to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to introduce you to my imaginary friend from when I was a kid. Uh, Heidi, his name is Desmond. I know it sounds strange. He's with me here tonight, and I would like to introduce all of you to my spirit energy, Desmond. Okay. Including you, Heidi. But I need you all to be open to it. Are you open to meeting Desmond? Good. I don't want to meet Desmond. Heidi, yes. we're going to isolate that picture. What I'd like you to do is you're going to insert it. See how there's a space for your wrist? Don't let it touch the sides. Don't let it touch the bottom. All right. Desmond is going to feed off of our energy, audience. Rub your hands together like this. Good. On the count of three, we're going to release the energy towards Heidi. Heidi. Desmond will contact us in one of three ways. You'll feel a temperature change. You may feel the pitcher get heavy. And best case scenario, you will actually see an orb, a ball of light near Heidi's shoulder. Oh my God. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, ready? One, two, and Heidi be open to it. Desmond, give us a sign you're here, and three. Do it again, do it again. Ready, Heidi? I'm ready. Be open to it, I'm be open. open to it. Ready? One, two, three. Desmond, give us a sign you're here. Ah! Give Heidi a big round of applause. in the building. Him and Desmond are both pretty freaky. I have no idea what just happened, but I loved it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Welcome to America's Got Talent. What's your name? My name is Nina, and I'm a contortionist. How and old are you now? 36. <laughs> wow, you look great, first of all. Oh, thank you. 36 years old, that's a late age to start doing co uh, contortion, isn't that's it? That's very late, actually. Where That was really spectacular. It really, truly was. You are really very special, and this is the best contortion I've seen, and I've been here three years. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very good. I'm giving everything, there's nothing left, there's nothing left. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome oh. to America's Got Talent. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> and who are you? Uh, I'm David. And I'm Levin. And, uh, oh, geez. Oh, should we switch them? We probably should. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Uh, Did you just see that? Did you see what I saw? You so you're magicians. We sure. are magicians, yes. Ta-da! Thank you, Howie, for getting that. There you go. Okay, wow. So you're going to do magic for us? We're not going to show you a trick. No, we're going to show you a demonstration of pseudoscience. And for this, we need a volunteer. Actually, Howie. Howie, could you join oh. us on stage? Give us some encouragement. Really? Yes. A uh, pseudo-volunteer. <laughs> uh, have a seat. Uh, now, have you heard of phrenology? Phrenology. Phrenology, filling the bumps of the skull to figure out personality traits. We're not going to do that. Dave and I came up with pressure phrenology. That's right. That's by squeezing parts of the skull, we can actually get you to lose the ability <laughs> to do certain things. Uh, Don't worry, it's completely safe. Okay. It's completely safe. Okay. completely safe. We're pseudoscientists. We are pseudoscientists tonight. You have to touch? Uh, but that's okay, I came prepared. Okay. <laughs> oh. Do you mind if I pressure phrenol your head? Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? If I squeeze here, you lose the ability to play the piano. Can you play the piano? No. Ladies no. and gentlemen, amazing. <laughs> Thank you. If I squeeze here, you lose the ability to do a standing backflip. Can you do a standing backflip? No. A no. miracle. <laughs> and if I squeeze here, you can no longer read. That's right. We brought these cards with words written on them, uh, and these words all pertain to you, Howie. Okay. okay. I will once again pressure for all you. You what? I'm going to pressure. I'm going to squeeze your head. <laughs> Taking away his ability to read. You can now no longer read. Right. Judges, yes or no, can you read this word? Yes. 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 Howie, yes or no, can you read this? Yes. Okay, go ahead and sound it out. Well, it's not. It cannot. Cannot. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, but judges, you can read this, right? We can. Yes. Yes. weird, right? Now, to make sure we're not doing anything tricky, we have a camera. It, wait, camera wait, wait. Here. Is it a word? Yes. yes. It's a word you know. <laughs> yes. yes. You're screwing with me! No! <laughs> show me it. We'll, 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 we'll show you. We'll show you. We'll show you. Okay. <laughs> Judges, yes or no, can you read this? <laughs> yes. yes. And it's a word you know. Yes. yes. It's a word you know. Okay. Howard, yes or no, can you read this? <laughs> Born poops? <laughs> what is it? Born. Gora poops? People at home. Gora poops. You can read that. You can read that. They can read it. They can read it. But you can read it. Gora poops? Why is that a word you know? What does Gora poops mean? One more, yes? Yes. 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 Howie, just what, this last one. What is this one? <laughs> Havlo, Havlo, Mono. That's <laughs> <laughs> what it says. He is no longer pressure finaling you, so you should be able to read. <laughs> judges, yes or no, can you read this? Yes, we can read. What does that say? Comedian. Perfect. Yes or no, judges, can you read this? Yes. Yes. Germaphone. Perfect, okay. And yes or no, judges, can you read this? Yes. And? My name, Howie Mandel. Howie Mandel. Mandel. Please give <laughs> Howie Mandel a huge round of applause. are not the words you saw? No, we saw the same three words. Comedian, Howie Mandel, and germaphobe. <laughs> no. It's a joke on me, right? No, you can read it. I'm into, like, pranks and stuff. This is a prank on me. Wow. I got to tell you, Howie, you couldn't see it, but I'll tell you, I love this illusion, uh, or whatever it is, or Howie's a moron. I don't know what it is. <laughs> But um, it was so much fun to watch. It was great. Your presentation's great. You guys are likable. You came out here. You switched names. It feels new and youthful. And you made Howie look like a jackass. And who doesn't love that? I didn't see the thing, but I hear it was fantastic. <laughs>
All my life, music has been a comfort zone for me, and this was a really big deal in Afghanistan, and it got me and my brothers and sisters, you know, it was our escape whenever I'd sing. Well, thank you for bringing it here to us. I can't wait to hear it. Go ahead, sir. very unassuming and very nervous and very shy and then all of a sudden you started to sing and a sound came out of you that nobody expected you are amazing Adrian. I'm nine years old. You're nine years old. Aww. And you will be doing what for us today? I'll be playing piano. Then how long have you been doing that? For about, um, since I was a little boy. I oh, was... since you were a little boy. <laughs> since you're so old now. In what grade are you in right now? Eighth grade. Eighth grade? I skipped five grades. I was gonna Why? say. I'm like, Me too. Wow. It's, wow. A, it's okay to brag. How come you skip I'm so... I'm telling the truth. No, I, I, but why? How? How come? You're that smart? Well, according to reality, yes. <laughs> according to reality? So how many more, babe? 
time. You're going to be in college in three years? <laughs> oh, oh, yes, but I already did ninth grade, so I'm skipping to 10th grade next year. So two years you'll be in really? college. Uh, correct. One more thing I want to know. How many hours a day do you practice? Um, I don't really look at the clock, but, um, <laughs> even though we have one right in front of me, but, um, no, not there, at home. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, we're all very intrigued by you already. Yeah. You won us over already, so now win us over with your music. Yes. Good luck to you. from this. Well, you'd be even more exhausted if you were doing this. I am utterly and thoroughly confused. <laughs> I wasn't really sure what was going on up there. How much of that was you? How much of that was track? I was totally confused. I, I, I would love to play another song. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. I can play. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. I wouldn't mind. Go another one. So, you know, uh, where I said I was confused, now you've cleared my confusion. And, yeah, it's very good that you did that. And I'll tell you why. You know what? Um, it's interesting for a kid your age to play so well, and, and you're, you're a personality. Really good job. Thank you. Thank you. You know what I think that your act is? It's not just about playing the piano. It's about talking to the audience. Because, yeah. man, you, you had me at hello, basically. I can listen to you all day. I could. Hi, you guys. Hi. How many people are up here 12. right now? Well, there's 12. Are you guys a, a family? Are you all in this? You are? All of you are brother and sisters. Any twins in there? Nope, no twins. I'm Jessica. I'm 21. Yeah, and what's your name? I'm Jeremiah, and I'm 20. I'm Jenny. I'm 19. Jenny. 19, Whoa. 20, 21. I'm Jeanette. I'm 17. I'm Jackson, and I'm 15. <laughs> I'm Jedi, and I'm 14. Jedi? Yoda? No. Go ahead. Yes. I'm Jasmine, and I'm 12. I'm Juliet, and I'm Juliet. 10. I'm Jamie, and I'm about to be 9. 9. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm Joy, and I'm 7. I'm Jake, and I'm 4. Wow. I'm Jake, and I'm 3. Oh! You're oh! adorable. Willis Clan. Yeah. 
I want to see where you all came from. I want to see the all woman right. who, who dared to have 12 come children. On, come on, dad. mom. Come on out. I come on out here. I mean, come I got to see what's dead. going on. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Now, I understand this is a very rare appearance out of your bedroom. I know that you spend most of your time there. <laughs> Howie, what do you think? Well, I think it is impressive. And not since the Partridge family, and not since the Osmonds. There, there's not really a family doing this. So there is a void. There is a necessity. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, and welcome to America's Got Talent. What is your name? My name is Christian Stoinov. What do you do? I am a uh, hand balancer. You know, you're a young guy. How do you start doing hand balancing? I am a fifth generation circus performer. Fifth generation. All right, Christian, the stage is yours, and let's see some great hand balancing. Will do. Thank you. balancing your whole body on your finger stuck in the bottle. You know, you have shown us things today I feel like that we all haven't seen before. I thought it was very exciting, and I thought it was even more exciting when you took that <laughs> top off. About a couple of seconds in, I turned to Heidi and I said, he doesn't even need the jacket, duh. And then I turned around, and by magic, you read my mind, and you took off your jacket. So I thank you. <laughs> Me too, I thank you too. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. what is your name? I'm Nick. I'm Rachel. And are you a couple? 
No. No. No, that'd be crazy. <laughs> yes. How long have you guys been working together? Uh, we've been working together since we started putting this piece together. That clears it up? Yep. <laughs> All right, so you don't want to tell us how long you've been doing oh. this? No. Okay, all right. So how come the more questions I ask, the more confusing this becomes? <laughs> well, best of luck to you. Thank you. This is a David Minendor piece. Gosh, the only thing I got to say now, I'm a huge Minendorf fan. I have no idea who that is, but everything about it was unique. We have seen things done with shadows. We've seen things done with projection. You had that quick change. You're wearing a totally different dress than you were wearing at the beginning. I saw it as it happened. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that, was, that was very kind of dreamlike. Like, I forgot I was even sitting at the desk. You just kind of oh. took me on your journey, your dreamland. It was beautiful and so graceful to watch. Well done. You got this. I got the shaking too. All you, all you need, if anything goes wrong, just look to me, I'll be there. I got you, I'm gonna help, I'm gonna even walk with you. No. Keep it going, yeah. What's your name? I'm Anna. Anna Hi. From Denning. How old are you, Anna? I'm 20 years old. And what do you do for a living? I don't have a job right now, but that has to do with my situation and stuff, so. What's your situation? I suffer from anxiety and depression disorder. So um, about like two or three months ago, I was bedridden and I hadn't left my house in a couple months. When I was 14, I was diagnosed with an anxiety disorder. I suffered from a lot of panic attacks. I, you know, I couldn't leave my house most days. I couldn't leave my room. I couldn't get out of bed. Personally, I also have an anxiety disorder. I suffer from OCD. People don't really know what it takes and how much suffering it is. For you to even show up today is so amazing. In front of all these people? Yeah. 
There isn't anybody alive that at some time doesn't need help in coping. And the world is here for you, and I just want to hear what you have to offer us. So just play and pretend like you're alone in your room and nobody's watching. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. We love you. different and very emotional. I could see it meant a lot to you. Hands down, the most emotional, got me to feel the most. And, and I'm putting your story aside for a second. I'm talking about just how you sing. The emotion that you were feeling, you were able to take it, put it into your voice, and make me feel something. Thank you. And good for you getting out on that stage. Hi guys, how are you doing, sir? I couldn't be better. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What is your name? I am Smoothini. You are Smoothini. The ghetto Houdini. Like Houdini, but ghetto. But ghetto. Yes, sir. I, I just... You are a magician then? Yes, sir. A bar magician to be exact. A bar magician. Well, this is a big bar here. Let's see you do what you do. Am, am I allowed to go closer to you guys? You can, yes. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, the thing about bar magic as opposed to regular magic is the fact that I don't use big props. I don't, I can't afford them. <laughs> and that's Whoa. all I have to dazzle the world. Right. Now, the thing about magic that happens close to your face is that it has to be performed exquisitely. If I can pronounce that word correctly, but. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. <laughs> Just cost the cards. But honestly, I whoa, whoa. just do not like card tricks because oh, that's yeah. amazing. But where are you coming from? But I have a beautiful six-year-old son, and um, I want to do something to you, Miss Mel. B. Oh wow, well, that my little boy likes. Can I see your hand? The other side. Thank you. Perfect. I'm going to take this ball, put it right about here. I want you to hold that ball real tight for me. Thank you. With that ball there and that ball there, we're going to go abracadabra. Open up your hand. Oh. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Let me mentally assault you two on the other hands. <laughs> because 
Because I am ghetto. Whoa. Cool. Thank you. Not my name, though. <laughs> that is the name. Whoa! Wowza! Oh! Thank you. We didn't know what to expect, but he brought it.